Hi there. I'm going to um, first of all talk to you about um, tables in this, um, this short video. Um, we're going to look at some of the ways of creating, managing um, the attributes of tables. Um, I've got a, a shapefile ready here to go and the first thing I'm going to do is import it into my geodatabase. Um, and then I'm going to look at how we manage the table, the attribute data inside there in a couple of different ways. Um, so first of all I'm going to bring this shapefile into the um, geodatabase and for this I need to do the export command and I'm going to export um, to geodatabase and it's a single file so I'm choosing the single option. Uh, once this dialog bo box pops up we need to uh, make sure that we check the output location which is going to be our geodatabase. Um, for this exercise I'm putting it inside my Hadlow geodatabase. I'm going to add that as the output and then I'm going to give the um, the output feature class a name um, and I'm going to call it the same as it's already called so it's called Hadlo Fields. I'm going to use an underscore here otherwise this won't work properly. Um, down the bottom here you'll notice that these are the existing two fields um, inside this shape file. Um, at this point if you wanted to you could remove them um, using this box here but I'm going to, going to accept those and leave them in there so I'm going to click OK and now this should add that shape file to my geo database and we'll get a little confirmation down the bottom here once it's done with any luck so there we go I've got a tick and a confirmation so if I now go and look inside my geo database we can there we can see the Hadlow fields are in there um, I'm just going to have a quick look at the attribute table so to do that um, from within the um, catalog we go over to preview up here um, and there we go that's previewing the geography so that's the fields themselves but if we drop down here we can also preview the catalog the table sorry um, so there you go you, those are the um, the attributes that are inside that particular table and actually from here we have got the option to remove um, fields um, you'll notice that we've got two repeating fields here so I'm just going to um, so to actually do some editing we can do it within the from within the catalog so I'm just going to simply right click on here um, and select delete field so and it's going to give us a warning saying this cannot be undone and I'm going to accept that and so now we're left with just those two fields and then these are the two fields that are already created um, automatically when we import data into a geo database and then maintained as part of the geo database. So there's no option currently in, in this window to actually add fields um, and there are a couple of ways of adding fields um, you can either do it inside the catalog or you can also do it inside ArcMap itself once you've loaded up this layer into ArcMap but for now we're going to look at how you create fields inside the um, catalog. Um, so the easiest thing to do with this again is to double double click on the um, attribute you want to create fields and this will bring up the properties or the feature class properties dialog box um, and we can choose from these different tabs if we choose the fields tab um, this should now let us add a new field so I'm going to add a new field at this point I'm going to call it habitat type and again we need to use the underscore here otherwise it will not work um, and for this I'm going to select a text data type um, <clears throat> and this domain here we're going to come back to shortly um, this is something that we're going to work on in a minute so I'm going to just apply that for now so that's created a new so there we go we've got a new field a new column in our attribute table Um, so we, we mentioned um, that word domain um, a, a second ago so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and set up a domain um, and hopefully as we go through it you will understand the benefit of doing this. Um, so to create a domain we need to go into the geodatabase itself and we need to go to the properties of the geodatabase so if we right click on the geodatabase go to properties <coughs> and we've only got two tabs here the general tab and the domains tab so we're going to set up a domain uh, the idea of using domains really is to give you um, the user the option to create 
things like drop down lists um, which really is designed to force people to, to pick from a list of um, possible options to go into an attribute table. Um, so we're going to set up a domain called habitat type. And this we're going to give a description. And again, down the, type, the bottom here, we've got this domain type. And we can set two different types of domain. Um, coded values, this gives us the option to create a drop-down list for the user, um, which will be connected shortly together with the attribute field. Um, and then when that user chooses that, we will get the option to choose these drop-downs. Um, so I'm going to just go in here and accept that as the coded value. And then I'm going to actually create some. So I'm going to put A for arable. Actually also we need to make sure that we ch choose the right field type and this is going to be text in these ones so we need to make sure it's text. So I'm going to put A for arable and then I'm going to write it here in the description. And the description is what the user will see in the drop down menu of choices when they're actually completing the attribute table. Um, so for improved I'm just going to put an M improved and then for semi I'm just going to put sem and then put semi improved and I'm going to do one more for woodland which is going to be W and then I'm going to apply that so now that's created this domain within the database itself. At the, main, at the moment that's just kind of sitting there and not, not being used. Um, so we now need to go back to this Hadlow fields um, and go back to that field that we already created and we're going to now attach it to that particular field in the attribute table. So we've got this choice here to choose from a domain. So we're going to pick this, um, and we've only got one set up, so we're going to pick the habitat domain and then simply click apply. So that's now connected those particular choices to the attribute table. Um, and I'll show you what that means when we go in and start editing the data um, for these particular fields inside ArcMap. So I'm just going to run up ArcMap now um, and we'll have a look at what we've just done. <coughs> Um, when we get our map going, we're, we're going to load in the fields layer there, this um, feature class, and we're going to start an editing session. Um, and then we're going to go and complete the attributes for that, that habitat type. And it, the computer or the attributes will be there listed. Um, so we'll be able to pick from a list, in effect. So I'm just going to load in the um, Hadlow fields from our geo database. There we go, Hello Fields. And now I'm going to start an editing session. And if you don't have the editor up here on your menu, you simply right click up here and you can then choose it from the list. I've already got it selected, so it's already there. Um, so I'm going to start an edit session. And now if I want to select one of these polygons to change the attributes, I need to use the Select Feature tool. Um, and all I need to do is click inside and that will select it. Um, and if I want to actually update the attributes, if I click up here on the attributes uh, icon, I will get the attributes. And there we go, there's that new field we created, and currently there's nothing in there. Um, and the domain that we created basically has given me the option to now have a drop down list of choices. So I can simply go in there and update those attributes. Um, and again, I can do another one, and then I can choose another one, and another one and so on and so forth. Um, so once I've been through and done all that, I can then save my edits. So I can stop editing and I want to save the edits, yes. Um, and now we can have a look at the attribute table. It should now have been updated with those choices that we chose. So there we go, there's the two that we've, we've just created. Um, a couple of things to mention about updating attributes. Um, you have to be in an edit session to actually change the attributes. If I try and do it now, I can't do it. 
Um, so you need to be in edit session to do that. Um, there are a couple of things you can do in here as well. So we could we could delete columns in here, delete fields. So by right clicking um, and going delete field, I'm not going to do it. And we can only do that when we're out of an editing session inside ArcMap. Um, and we can also add fields as well. So we can simply add a field here um, by clicking the add field um, icon on that list. And again, we can only do adding fields when we're not in an editing session. Um, if we go back into an editing session um, up here and say start editing, we'll notice we get the little pencil just appearing down here. Um, and now we've got the choice to actually put in these attributes into these particular fields. Um, and we can only do this if we're in an editing session. Um, and then if we stop editing, and that will save the changes. So there we go, we've saved the changes. Um, so that's really what I wanted to talk to you about was um, creating domains, attaching those domains to an attribute table or to a particular field inside an attribute table. Um, and also we've just covered how you would delete a field and how you also create a field in both Arc Catalog and also inside Arc Map. Thanks very much for watching.